Seriously, the reason I'm making this video is because there's so much disinformation about a simple thing, honing a cylinder on the internet. Auto porn, by the way. Anyway, uh, I just want people to be able to do it right and basically having a machine shop involved and paying them to do it right is the right way to do it. But if you have to do it right, realize that what you're trying to accomplish is to replicate what the factory did in the first place and why engines nowadays last so long. Don't put cast rings in them, use molly rings and get that cylinder wall properly honed at a machine shop if you're not capable. Why spend 30 to $50 on stuff you're only gonna use once and run the risk that you don't do it right in the first place? Get it done right. Here's the reason why you need to go to an automotive machine shop. The proper micrometer and the knowledge to mic the piston. If you have these vertical lines that are wear scuffing from perhaps as much as a couple hundred thousand miles of wear, you need to find out if the clearance between the piston skirt and the cylinder wall is still within the factory spec. If you've got too much clearance from where or the piston heat has collapsed it, you are not going to have a satisfactory job. They need to mic the thing with a micrometer and then knowing their spec right in the book that they'll have, it'll tell you whether that clearance is excessive and whether you're going to going forward have excessive cylinder wear or in some cases uh, the piston will rock in the bore so bad that you'll have uh, a clatter in the morning before the piston warms up you'll have excess uh, piston clearance that will cause noise and it'll accelerate the wear of the rings as well you might as well do it right take it to a machine shop pay them the 50 for a four cylinder or 75 for a v8 and have the home job done properly If you're knowledgeable enough to rebuild your own engine and you have the skills, you know that a ball home like this is for deglazing only. And it's just to get rid of the glaze from thousands of miles and millions of trips up and down by those rings on the cylinder wall. All it does is make nice clean metal for the piston rings to break in on. If you want to do a proper job, you'll have a machine shop use a cylinder hill like this on your job and you'll get the best job possible so that you can expect the same kind of longevity that the engine had from the factory. Put a molly ring on it and do the job right.